What's up guys? Isaac here in the Realized Car and I'm a little bit sick but that's no excuse. I've got another video for you guys. Now, I've been reading this book um, NLP which pretty much is an acronym for Neuro Linguistic Programming and Neuro Linguistic Programming is pretty much um, a body of knowledge that some people came up with that helps you deal with your thoughts and your mind and your emotions and pretty much uh, tools to help you live a better life and I've just recently started to get into it and I've got a tool that I think is actually pretty good and might be resourceful for you guys and it's this idea of associative and dissociative thinking now let me break that down okay so when you have a memory or when you have a thought <clears throat> perhaps it's a way uh, a thought about a certain situation you're in and how you dealt with it a lot of the times the default mechanism that your brain goes to is to see yourself in a first person view so you see the thought as if you were actually reliving it and this is usually the most accurate way of seeing it because this is how it is in your memory <clears throat> the problem with this is because you're seeing the thought in the first person a lot of the times um, some of the facts are have been messed up with by emotions as we know emotions influence certain things because of whatever emotion you'll be feeling you might not be able to see what actually happened I'm forgetting the word I'm trying to use here but you get the point so dissociative thinking or dissociative approach of reviewing your memories is to go back to the memory and try and see the memory from a third person objective from a different vantage point so you see the memory as if you're someone else watching yourself. <clears throat> now, your brain has the capability of doing this because, of course, your subconscious mind picks up a lot of information, picks up all these data points. That's why you can remember the way home, even though you'd be thinking about some random shit because the information is already in your head. It's in your subjective mind. So the memory, all the information from memory is in your subjective mind. You just need to consciously put yourself in a different vantage point. Try see what it would have been like to watch yourself as if you were someone else. And what this does is it dissociates yourself from some of those emotions that you would feel if you were remembering it from the first person. So back to the case of the argument. Perhaps you go into an argument with a colleague at work and um, you think this guy is an asshole and a jackass and all this. If you're reviewing the first person, those emotions tend to come up because you're remembering what you felt at the time. And it's just coming back. If you dissociate yourself, you allow yourself to see it as if you're someone else and detach yourself from his emotions. And then you can see the facts as they are and make judgments from them. So that's a very useful tool, especially when going back to painful memories or certain things you did that you don't really uh, like to think of. Instead of just um, shoving the memory deep into your mind and not thinking about it because it's too painful, you can use this tool and dissociate yourself from it and see it from that lens. So I think that tool is very helpful. And the same thing can happen in real life, in real time as well. If you find yourself in a situation where perhaps someone's making you angry or perhaps you're feeling nervous, try just dissociate yourself. Try picture that you're seeing yourself from a different vantage point, perhaps from above, maybe from the side, and what tends to happen is some of these emotions will go away because you're putting the focus somewhere else. You're putting the focus in this conscious projection of what it would look like. So you won't have the focus on the emotions you're feeling right now. So dissociative thinking is very, very useful. And that's the first tool from NLP that I actually recommend. Some of the things in this book are still need to be tested by me before I give you guys my recommendations but that dissociative thing is something that I've actually been doing uh, to a certain degree for a long time and that you guys can use it gets you out of your ego and we all know about the ego it tends to make things complicated and I hope you guys um, received some value out of this video as usual like comment subscribe and all that good stuff peace I'm gonna show you how to be part of the notification gang. It's real simple. Click subscribe, and then you click on this little bell here. Boom, bang, boom. That's it, and you get notifications as soon as the videos are up. Peace. Do it.
Just do it. <laughs>